friends, it's Julie and today I'm going to talk about um, a little gadget that I got on eBay just because it was super cheap and I was super curious so I thought why not. And I'm sorry for being a little bit absent for the last little while but I'm hoping to be back on track and everything. Um, things got really busy and really crazy in my life and I stopped being able to keep up with every single thing that was going on. So I basically was focusing on getting the most critical stuff done and then um, I knew that I would be able to come back to making these videos again and report in on everything that I've been up to. So I've tried um, a bunch of gadgets, I've tried a bunch of little weird things that I've bought online. Um, I went to a big festival and bought a ton of products so I will show you in another video what I got there and all the things I'll be testing out over the next while. Lots and lots and lots of stuff to talk about, I just didn't have any time to talk about it. So yep, so today it's going to be this little weird thing. Um, I think I'm going to start a new little kind of series um, that I'll create a playlist for about all the little gadgets and stuff because there's, as much as I still consider them a part of skincare, if I'm using a gadget on my face, for example the light therapy that I use, um, I feel like there's sort of a separation between the, the devices and then like creams and lotions and astringents and whatever else, that kind of thing, you know, products that, that come in a package that you apply topically, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be starting, this will be the very first one of that. Um, I got this particular product on eBay, I think it was three or four dollars. It was really not expensive, that's the only reason I even got it, and that would include shipping. But yeah, it's because I'd seen kind of more expensive versions of it, and I thought, well, I can't, you know, I, I can't just take a risk buying something that's 60, 70, 80 dollars um, without being able to find anything online that says that it's good for rosacea, but I can try something that is less than five dollars including shipping. So yep, so I got this and it's this weird thing, it's got this stainless steel um, plate on it and then it's got a switch that goes up and down with a light and the rest of it is just a plastic handle. And this is supposed to give your skin um, sort of a massage of positive ions and negative ions and the like I'm gonna try and do this. So the positive ions are like that. It makes a humming noise. It barely moves or anything um, and a little green light comes on and then the negative ions are this one. I can't I don't know if you can see that that is a red light but the red light comes on and it hums in a lower tone. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a hoax, I don't know if it's real or not, um, but it does do two different things and make two different sounds when the light is green or red, <laughs> and it didn't seem to do any harm. Um, I basically just did this patch of rosacea. Um, it says that you should do your entire face, the instructions, um, it came from China and the instructions were very clearly translated through a um, digital translator because they didn't make a huge amount of sense. But um, what I got from it was that the whole face can be done in about a minute. Um, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do a minute with the positive ions and then a minute with the negative ions or if the whole thing was supposed to be a minute, so 30 seconds for each type of ions. <laughs> so I did a whole pile of basically guessing and I just tried to be consistent about it. Um, so I just did this so I figured well it's half of my face too so I should half the time. So I did 30 seconds with the positive ions first and then I did 30 seconds with the negative ions. It's supposed to be very soothing, it's supposed to have anti-aging properties, it's supposed to um, even draw out toxins, some sort of evils from the cells of your skin and so that it can um, so that you can cleanse a little more effectively. I didn't see a huge amount of difference or anything like that. When I first, um, you know, uh, you, you touch it right to your skin and then you're supposed to massage it in little circles like this um, the whole time, which I did. You're not supposed to hold it against your face. I didn't find that it was irritating at all. I did clean the little stainless steel disc thingy between um, each use. What I did find, I didn't find that because it even like as much as it makes a sound that you can hear, it doesn't really do much. You can't feel it really buzzing or anything like that very much. Um, but I did find that when I got close to my ear, I did not like the sound of it. So whatever, if there is some sort of vibrations or um, ions or something happening in here, when I, if you get too close to your ear, it's not pleasant. So because of that, I tried to really stay away from my eye and stay away from my ear just because I didn't want to be messing around with anything because I don't understand the science of it. So I don't want to just risk stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I used this. I did 30 seconds on the little green light, the positives, 30 seconds on the red light, the negatives. And at first, the, this cheek would kind of 
go a little bit more pink and then after about 30 seconds it would cool down and then it would look exactly like the other side. Um, I've been doing this for about a month and a half now and the only thing that I can say is that I don't have as many of the little rosacea bumps that pop up on this side of my face. I don't know if that's a coincidence. I don't know if I sleep more on this side of my face so it's more prone to them. I don't know what the scoop is there or if this actually works and it helps to um, calm my face and therefore it has fewer symptoms. Either way, um, this side and this side looked pretty much the same except that this one didn't seem to be as prone to those little pimply dots that come with um, rosacea subtype 2. This has absolutely no brand or anything on it and it didn't come with a little paper or anything like that. The little thing on the screen when I got it at eBay had no brand identification. It's just possibly a little piece of placebo <laughs> but I don't really know. Either way um, it didn't cause any harm. I'm gonna keep using this and I'm just gonna keep using it on the one side for a while because I'm not testing any products right now, um, any skincare products, any new ones that I haven't been using for some time already. So I think I'm just gonna keep this up because I did give the light therapy three months before I decided whether or not I liked it and it worked over kind of over time and things, whether it was gonna stop working. Um, so I can only give this the same chance, but yeah, so um, I thought this was interesting. I thought it didn't do any harm. Um, it may or may not do good. I will keep testing it and we'll see, but either way it was super cheap <laughs> and um, if it ends up being awesome then I will put a link to where I got it in the description of the next video that, where I talk about this. Yeah, have you tried anything like this before? Do you believe in the difference that ions can make in your skin? Um, do you understand it? If you do, um, please feel free to explain it to me because the only explanation that I could find was a rather weak translation online. So um, I have seen a few things with more expensive products and they make certain claims but I haven't actually seen the scientific evidence to back it up. I've seen the claims but I haven't seen the proof so I don't know if it's just the, the technology just isn't there yet and we have to wait more or what but I, I'm very interested because I mean if it's just a matter of something like this to make your skin a little better it's I'm sure happy to give it a whirl. Yeah, and one more thing that I wanted to do, something that I've actually wanted to do for quite some time, is to share the name of the winner of the um, three SBTC Buckthorn Creams, which are just outside of my reach, so I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I have the three SBTC Buckthorn Creams, the what am I holding here? The body cream, the after sun cream, which I don't even know how I got through a summer without in the past, and the hand cream. I ended up with doubles of all three of these because of a giant mailing mix up and because of the generosity of SBTC Buckthorn. So um, if you want to learn about how that happened, then I will leave a link to that video right here. But for now, I'm, um, I have already chosen a winner. They are on my phone. <laughs> the person who has won the giveaway is Lindsay Stratman. Um, congratulations. I hope I didn't just say your name terribly or insultingly or something like that. So Lindsay Stradman, um, I will be contacting you very soon if you haven't already heard from me. Um, I will not be asking you for money or anything like that. If somebody contacts you pretending to be me and says they need your credit card or they need money in any way, that's not me. Um, I will not be asking you for anything like that, not even for shipping. Um, I will be sending this to you for free because this is just a gift, but I will be reaching out to you very, very soon through YouTube. <laughs> so um, I hope you'll watch for that. And I hope you absolutely love these. You said that you were looking for a hand cream that really, really works because you have super dry hands. You will absolutely love this. Your hands will not be dry when you use this one. So yeah, so congratulations, super exciting. I'm so glad I finally got to, to uh, share the winner because that has been over a week now since I'm supposed to do that. I'm so sorry. Again, I am back. I'm making videos. I will not abandon you like this again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked learning about this little ion thingy. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and that way I'll know. And if you want to see more videos like this where I try out different products and I do giveaways and I share my experiences with various different things, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos every Sunday and almost Thursdays. And other than that, I'll see you next time.